YouTube, what is up? It is me, NZE Visuals, and it's been a while since I've last shot my previous video. We're here in sunny Tampa where it is scorching hot and I'm already sweating. I'm gonna show you guys the awesome architecture scene here, which I do love. Ideally, in today's video, we're gonna be doing some street photography and I'm gonna be teaching you guys the things to look out when doing that. I'm gonna teach you some awesome tips along the way. So let's get to it and let's get some action, all right? Tip number one and what I like doing when it comes to shooting street photos is use a map service. Doesn't matter what map service it is, it could be anything. But my best friend when it comes to shooting street photos is Google Maps. What this does, it helps me get an idea of what the area is going to be and I can pre-compose all my shots in my head and I save a bunch of time by doing that. So unfortunately, I did get kicked out from the building. Uh, going back to what I was saying about using Google Maps, it's your best friend. It's honestly going to help you compose all your shots before you even get there. You're going to save a lot, a lot, a lot of time by using it. Not just Google Maps, but any maps in service. Right now, we are right here at this bridge. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the body cam to show you ideally what to do when it comes to shooting anything with architecture in the background or just anything in general. Let's get to it. So here, I'm actually gonna get on the ledge to see if I can get a better shot of someone walking across the river walk, but it was impossible because there was just way too many people walking on this bridge. It was impossible to single one person out, even with Photoshop, it was just gonna be too tough for that. I tried doing it, but it was just too hard. I then later got down from the ledge to see if I can get a different angle. Um, Unfortunately for this part right here, it wasn't the shot that I will be posting of the taxi boat, but it's something similar to that. I got on the ledge again. When doing this, please be safe guys as well. Uh, it's funny because this guy right here did say, don't jump, don't jump. I thought that was pretty funny. So I got down from there and switched over to a different area where I got this shot right here, which is probably one of my favorite ones of this photo location. As you guys can see right here, I manipulated the photo just a bit. By doing so, as you guys can see on the left, there is just a little bit of distractions going on. It takes away from like that center boat. And as you guys can see on the right photo, it's the complete edit. There's a lot less distractions as well as I did mirror the left side of the photo onto the right. I did Photoshop the boats and kind of just worked on it a little bit more just to make it a little bit more cleaner and just centered focus on that one boat. And finally, for this last shot, I did get the yellow taxi boat on the water, as well as some other boats in the far back of the photo. On the right side, you're gonna see a lot of people walking around because this was the day before New Year's, so there's a lot of activity going on for this shot that I did wanna have for this. I didn't wanna do no photoshopping for this part because I did wanna have all that activity for this shot. I think it adds to the photo just to see how kind of crazy it was for that day. A lot of good stuff going on in the shot. I think it's probably one of my favorite ones as well. Definitely a good time taking this photo. So now we're gonna go on to our second location where it's gonna be a really good look up. Uh, when it comes to street photography, always look up. There's always gonna be a certain perspective when you get not only just looking straight, but if you look up, for example, you can get some killer shots of just any look ups as well as you're gonna get birds on there. You're gonna get some really cool shots. So, we're gonna go to this awesome, awesome spot where you can get some awesome lookups as well as we're gonna get some bird action as well. So, stay tuned. Ideally, when it comes to street photography, like I said, you're always gonna wanna look up. When you look up, you're gonna get some awesome photos. So, just to show you guys what I mean when it comes to look up. When you actually look up, you can actually get some sick architecture when it comes to looking up. It's a different perspective that not a lot of people always see in their everyday life. So we're gonna get some awesome photos. I'm gonna switch over to the body cam to go and show you guys what I'm gonna be doing when it comes to shooting these lookups. For this next shot that I am gonna be taking, I'm gonna be getting down onto the floor to be able to get a nice look up. I do own a wide angle lens, but by doing this, I'll be able to get a lot more into my shot. 
This is a good tip for you guys. If you don't own a wide angle lens, that's totally fine. You can do what I was doing and you'd be able to lay down onto the floor and still be able to achieve that nice wide angle look to your shots. Here, I do have the birds coming in and out of my photograph. What I'm trying to do is try to capture all of them at once to be able to get a nice pop like this photo right here. If there's one major tip I can give you guys is definitely never have your camera off. Always have it on standby mode. The reason being is because when your camera's off and then you have to switch it back on, it's gonna have to always boot up. Versus when your camera's on standby mode, it's always gonna be ready for you to have your next shot prepared and all that good stuff. So we're gonna head over to our third spot. It's gonna be an awesome rooftop to catch sunset. Hopefully I'll be able to catch sunset. There's just been a lot of malfunctions going on today. My GoPro, my Sony camera just started acting up really strange. So hopefully we make it and we'll get some awesome, uh, really cool goodies up there. I'm here in one of my favorite rooftops to always hit whenever I'm here at Tampa. Just to give you an idea of what this place is. This is Tampa. The earth is flat. Just kidding. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get some pretty, some pretty cool shots of the skyline with like uh, somewhat of a sunset-ish color. I was kind of late, but just look at it. It's so magnificent. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take some skyline shots. I am gonna switch over to the body cam. Let me know what you guys think. I am gonna tell you guys my settings and all that jazz. So let's go ahead and switch over. What I'm doing here, I'm just removing the anchor links from my camera just so that I can have a better experience when photographing. I decided that that wasn't really a good spot and I go to this side of the rooftop to get a better angle. When climbing over a ledge or anything like that on a rooftop, always be safe guys, it's always risky. As soon as I landed, there was a swarm of bugs here. Um, they knew what I was doing, I invaded their territory, and that's why I'm smacking the air because they were just attacking me. My settings here are shutter 1 100th of a second, my f-stop is at f8, and my ISO is at 1250. I'm shooting at a high f-stop because I do want to have a sharper image, and I'm compensating that for having a slow shutter, and my ISO is pretty high as well. I decided on leaving because they were just everywhere and they just kept on attacking me so I decided on going back to my original spot. I ended up taking one more vertical shot just so I can have more options to play with in case if my other photos didn't really turn out to be too good. The photo that I ended up going with was the vertical shot. In my opinion that was the best one that I took while I was up there. I could see the sky a lot more. The clouds were out, more visible, and I saturated the sky just a lot more to give it more of that cotton candy look. I then waited a little bit longer for night to come, and I took a long exposure. I shifted the colors a lot more, I made the reds a lot more redder, and the sky a lot more bluer. I gave it that angels and demons look to it, so I think it came out really good as well. So I made it down from the rooftop. I'm actually a lot more closer to the city now. Uh, I do have this awesome looking broken dock right here that's gonna lead to the city. Some leading lines there. So I have my camera set up already on top of my uh, tripod and I do see the boat that I do wanna grab some photos of. It's really loud here and it's gonna be super shaky so hopefully it's gonna be really good and it's a great turnout. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it's gonna be. Check it out. I have the boat right there. I have my settings right here. Hopefully, it's not really good. So I got my photo, it came out really good, super sharp, and everything was defined the way I wanted it to come out. We're gonna go ahead and do one more photo and call that a day. All right guys, the final tip for today when it comes to shooting street photography is shoot at a high f-stop. My sweet spot when it comes to shooting at a high stop is between f6 and f9. I'm gonna be having the sharpest of results out my image when I'm shooting between f6 and f9. Now you guys can try it as well but I would definitely recommend for you guys to experiment with your f-stops and see what it produces between each f-stop. For today's last photo I'm gonna be doing a long exposure right here 
it's going to be a lookup as well as some weird architectural crafty metallic as you guys can see right there that's what it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and post the photo now just to show you guys how it came out that sums up today's street photography video. I'm super exhausted. I woke up really early today to catch my team play soccer. I know today's tips have been super scattered and it wasn't really as organized, but for sure, my next video is gonna be a little bit better. Like I said, I'm trying to get better at this, experimenting with different new cameras that I got and everything's been acting a little bit funky today. So hopefully for my next video, everything is gonna be a lot better planned out and we'll get some awesome, awesome content. Until next time guys, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, and definitely let me know what you guys think of today's video, if it helped you out. If not, uh, I'm sorry, I guess. So until next time, homies, peace.